Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel Victoria Physics and uh, today we will do JK flip-flop using uh, 7410 IC and 7400 IC. 7410 IC is uh, 3 input uh, NAND gate and you all know 7400 IC is a normal 2 input NAND gate. Okay. And this is the circuit that we're going to implement in breadboard. I have already done this over here and I'll show it to you. Okay, before that, just get a glimpse of the 7410 IC pin configuration. I have used this and this uh, two gates. So, and I have labeled uh, them in the uh, figure as well for better understanding. Okay. So in this IC, that is the 7410 IC, I have taken J from pin number 10. So this, this is my J and this is my K. That is from pin number 4. Okay. This is pin number 4. And 3 and 11, this 3 and 11, I have joined together from where I will be connecting this clock input. Okay. And 9, number 9 of the 7410 IC is connected to pin number 6 of NAND IC, to input NAND IC. And from here, the pin number 5 of this IC is being connected to pin number 3 of this IC. As you can see from the figure, you can follow it, okay? Now, internally... Pin number 8 is being connected to pin 1. So from here, this black one is pin number 8 that is being connected to pin number 1. I hope it's visible. And pin number 6 is connected to pin 5. So 6 I have connected to pin 5. Now this 2 is being connected to 6 and 4 to 3. So this is 4 and 3 being connected with this red wire. And 2 and 6 is being connected with this black wire. So most of the connections are explained now. And you all know that you have to connect 7 and 14 of each pin uh, of each IC to ground and plus voltage. Okay. After that, you can see from 3 I have Q and from 6 I have Q bar. So from 3 I have Q, I have attached this LED from 3 via resistance and from 6 I have this red LED, okay. So Q is being denoted by this white LED and Q bar is being denoted by this red LED. I hope the circuit is clear now. Let us connect the clock and check the truth table. So I have connected the clock as you can see in 3 and 11 pin being connected and from there I have connected the clock and I am switching off on this uh, power supply. Okay, so I have switched on the power supply and as you can see uh, when it's 0, 0 something will be retained over there because I haven't connected. Now suppose the first part I will do. Okay, so I'll connect both of this J and K to zero. And I've connected J and K to zero. And now I will press the clock pulse. Okay, so let us see. I'm pressing the clock pulse. So as per the truth table, it will be no change. Okay. For the next part, as you can see in the truth table, make J as 1 and K will be 0 and then apply a clock pulse. So I'll make J as 1 and K is being made to 0 and then I apply a clock pulse and I should have the value 1 in Q. So, so you see you have a value 1 in position Q and Q bar is 0, okay. 
So this is the set condition of JK flip-flop. After that, moving on to the third part, that is making J as 0 and K as 1, your Q should become 0, that is reset. So let's make that. Okay, so I made this condition J0 and K1. So this is my J that is made to 0 and this is my K that is made to 1. And now I, if I apply a clock pulse, I'll see that it goes to reset condition. That is, it will become 0. So you can follow with the truth table. Okay. Then our last part is both of them will be 1. Then it will only toggle. So making both of them as 1. And then applying the clock pulse. So you can see they toggled. So... The JK flip-flop satisfies the truth table and here is the circuit once again with a closer view. And this is the condition of J is 1, K is 0 with set condition. So I hope it's quite clear to you all. If you have any kind of queries, please drop in your questions in the chat box. Thank you all.